Hey folks, welcome back to another tutorial from North Brothers. My name is Norm Reynolds and today I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube end screen in After Effects. First, I'm going to show you the end result and then I'll take you through the steps to how we got there. Now let's build one of our own. We're gonna go up to composition, click on that, click on new composition. Let's give that a name. We'll call it WT end screen. You can make these settings specific to what you wanna work with. I'm choosing 4K because that's what I export most of my projects as. And I'm also selecting 23.976 frames per second because that's what I film in. The end screen on YouTube allows for a maximum of 20 seconds. So you want 20 seconds for your boxes and stuff and you want time for any animation you wanna do. So I'm gonna set this composition to 21 seconds. If you have a longer animation or no animation at all, adjust that accordingly. The first thing we're gonna create our background layer. We're gonna to go to layer, new, solid, and we want these dimensions to take up the entire background and we're gonna just name it that. I'm gonna go background layer and I wanna make mine black. You might want white, you might want whatever. It's your thing, you do what you want. Something you might find super helpful for this project is to get a template that you can overlay so you can see exactly where you want to place things based on the restrictions that YouTube will give you in the end screen. Using a quick Google search, I found this one and we'll just go ahead and scale that all the way up. We'll set the opacity to 25%. Now we see the size of the circles for our subscribe buttons. We see the size that our video preview is gonna come up as. You can make this anywhere from the smaller rectangle to the larger rectangle, depending on how you size your end screen. If you're adding a link to your end screen, this is the size of the square. And if you're recommending another channel, this is the size of that. To make your lives a little easier, I'll link this template in the video description. Next, we're gonna make our shapes. Bare minimum, in your YouTube end screen, you have to suggest at least one video. I like to suggest one video, suggest a playlist, and add my subscribe button there. The first thing we're gonna do is draw one of our rectangles. So we'll go over here, click and hold our shape tool, select a rounded rectangle tool, because I want rounded rectangle. You can, again, do whatever you want. And let's go ahead and draw it about the right size for this. There we go, that's what I want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this Rec1. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that. Select my selector tool, hold shift to make sure that it stays perfectly in line. Now we're gonna go and make our ellipse. Hold shift while you do this to keep it a perfect circle. Again, back to the selection tool and and drop that right about here because I think that's where I want that. Now that I've got those in place, I don't need to see that template anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and hide that. Shouldn't need that again, but I won't delete it just in case. And now we're gonna make our shapes visible. We're gonna go over to our effects and presets, and we wanna add a drop shadow. So let's, and let's go ahead and drop that right on our circle. That's automatically opened up our effect control. I want this drop shadow to be white, and I want the opacity to be 100%, and I want the softness to be about 100 as well, I think. What does that look like for me? I want mine to be a little bolder. Let's try 200. That's more my speed. Now we're going to go ahead and just click on the drop shadow effect here, copy, and then click on your next rectangle paste, do the same thing for this one, and we've got a definitive line around our shapes. We're gonna take this in a little bit further here. Next thing we're gonna do is add a new layer. This one's going to be an adjustment layer. Back over into the effects and presets. We're gonna add some fractal noise to that. Oop. So for this, I want to select turbulent smooth. I want to go spline for the noise type, contrast 100% brightness. Let's try that at five. Complexity, 10 might be good for that. And we wanna change the blending mode here. We're gonna take it from normal and take it over to color dodge. Just like that, that's given some pretty cool definition to the rim light around these shapes. We're gonna take it one more step further. We're gonna make sure we're at the beginning of our timeline and we're gonna set a keyframe for the evolution of this. And then we're gonna break, go all the way to the end and we're going to change the evolution setting. We'll just bring it right out and I think uh, that should be a pretty good rate. Let's see what that looks like. And back to the beginning and you see it just gives it like kind of a nice little a little flicker, a little, a little something cool. You know what I mean? I like that. That is a thing that I like. On to the next piece of the puzzle. Let's say we add just a little something something. Something something. Can kids say that anymore? There are a lot of cool animation presets and simulations that come straight into Adobe After Effects. There's a ton of great effects to choose from for this. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna go with CC Snowfall from the simulation category. Just gonna go ahead and drag and drop that right onto my background layer. 
right away you can see that uh, you know it's given a little something it's pretty faint and not exactly what I want what I want is to see you know a bit of blowing snow bigger flakes right so let's just pop in here and it's easy peasy first off size of the flakes let's uh, crank that up to 10 that looks that looks better already that might be dope for some people uh, for me Oh man, let's get some wind speed in here. The wind speed's subtle, so let's start at 200 for this. You see, it's got a bit of side to side, but that's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that, uh, I mean, for us, North Brothers, you think winter, just like some blowing snow. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know, you might not know what I mean. It doesn't matter. Let's crank this right up to 1,000. That's a bit fast for me. Let's bring it back down to 800 and see how that goes. So after a bit of fine tuning, I found roughly what I like. We're moving on to finishing touches, which is just throwing text on here. So for me, I want to throw a subscribe on there. I want to encourage people to follow our socials. And that's about it. This is what we're left with. And again, you can get creative here. You know, these things can say whatever you want to say. That is it for this one. If you guys like what you saw here today, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more content just like this. And if you have any questions or if you have anything specific you want to see, get in the comments. Let me know. You all have a fantastic day and I'll see you on the next one. Is a template. Whoops. Stay out of my way, buddy.